Well, first of all, Debbie, let me say that uh, we're so glad that you connected with us. But a couple of comments. We would all have to agree that the fact that this evil spirit troubled Saul, we would all have to agree that God allowed it to happen. Let's camp there for a moment and let's figure out what that means. The fact that God allowed it meant that God would not have had to allow it. Therefore, in one sense, absolutely, the evil spirit was sent by God. Secondly, what we need to do is to understand that the reason for this is because Saul was so narcissistic. By that I mean he was so jealous, he was so self-consumed that God sometimes allows sinners to continue to wallow even in more sin. And so this evil spirit was sent by God to trouble Saul. And of course, we know that what really helped him, however, was when David played on his harp, and the rest of the story unfolds there in the book of Samuel. But the point is, it is important for us to see that God uses the devil. In fact, uh, he certainly uses it in the life of believers. I'm thinking of Job, for example. God used the devil to tempt Job. And of course, we know that in the end, Job came through fine, though he had his periods of doubts. You have, for example, the devil even in the life of the Apostle Paul. An evil spirit was sent to give him that thorn in the flesh. So even there... The devil is God's devil, as Luther is quoted as saying. So I just want you to enlarge your conception of God and to know this, that moment by moment, the devil is subject to God. When we remember that, great faith is birthed in our heart, in our own struggle with the wicked one. So yes, Satan ultimately is under God's direction. <laughs> 